And like, imagine, you know, having sexual relations. That's just so. Um, imagine it. See it. Imagine. I I, that's all I pretty no. much do now. I just imagine, imagine it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me too. All those sexual yeah. relations. <laughs> that's what I'm left with these days. <laughs> I just imagine it. Yeah, so imagine that with a tramp stamp. Nah. And we are into another new hour. Insensitivity training for a politically correct world on this Wednesday morning. It's June 12th, 2024. Yeah. We are The Woody Show. I'm Woody. That's Ravy. Hello. There's uh, Greg Gorey. Good morning, Woody. Menace, hello. Good morning, Woody. Uh, we've got Seabass. Yeah. There's uh, Sammy. Morning. And uh, Morgan's making her way in here. We have something about Morgan. Dude, I feel this must be what it feels like to be on cocaine. I've never done cocaine. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I did go to bed yesterday at 4.23 p.m. Wow. And I you was, slept you what? through? I slept through. I got that? home. I'm like, you know, yesterday after the show, I got home and I'm like, you know what? Not napping today. Right. Mm-hmm. So I got a, all the stuff that I need to get done done. Mm. And yeah. then it was, uh, I watched like an episode of uh, Better Call Saul. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, hmm, you know what? I think I'm ready to go to bed. So okay. I went upstairs, closed all the blackout shades. Yeah. Got in bed, passed out immediately. Really? Woke up with my alarm at two o'clock this morning. Wow. I would need propofol. Hey, me too. There's no way I could sleep so, like that. Yeah. yeah. This must be what it's like to be on cocaine because I'm full of energy today. And yeah. no... Uh, kids, no wife. No wife, no oh, kids. They're, right. uh, they're, they're visiting the in-laws. Because yeah. I was about to say, it's be weird that you're yeah. in bed at four and your whole family is living their life. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would do that. I've gone to bed super early sometimes. Yeah. Like, I'm, you know, after like a big long stretch of days where it's there's very little rest. Yeah. But I thought to myself, this could be Ravy, Greg, Menaces, Sammy's, everybody's life every could day. Be. Could be. Yeah, just like, this dinner. could be there every day. Mm, right. No, you know what you do? <laughs> You have like a late lunch. Right. Without you know? anybody else. Without uh-huh. anybody yep. else. Your social life is uh, non-existent. Yeah. Well, no, you don't. Have to, I'm saying like during the week when everybody's on the treadmill of the work week. Go to bed in the middle of the day. You can't. Yeah. Well, based and on what time we get up. Never watch sports. Yeah. Yeah. Just stay in bed. You can't. If there's a really a game don't. you want to watch, you can do that. It's not every day. You're missing the point. But you can do this more often. I, I can make just, it happen, guys. Just five out of seven days. <laughs> yeah. More often than not, you could do it. Yeah. Your <laughs> life's hard. Keep telling me how hard your life is. Yeah, I, I could do it if my dog <laughs> left me alone. <laughs> yeah, that's Mario's problem. Well, he's not there. Yeah, well, he's what time does he get home? He's out. He works. He gets home around six. Six thirty. Ah, uh, yeah. But if you go to bed my at four, like two dog. hours, the dog could be there by himself. Two hours. Like, leave me alone. Dog. Yeah, mm-hmm. two hours. Just my, lock her out. The, of the dog room. needs attention. My dogs are great at napping with me. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm okay I find with that. Yeah. I find going to bed when it's daylight to be so depressing. Mm-hmm. So uh, Greg's wait until it's dark. Yeah. Wait until it's I was, way too late. I was so excited about it. Like I said, I have the the blackout shade, so it was super dark in the room. Yeah. It was like a hotel room dark. <laughs> it's pretty dark. It was you so just good. Wait to have a life till you're 65 or so. You're missing the point. You're missing the point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're missing the point. Then it's, like, it's like when you give uh, <laughs> Sammy uh, crap about like, oh, this is this isn't good. Well, be more specific. Like you're just you're sit you're sitting on that one thing. No, no, no. But whereas you're just sitting on this one point, and I said, well, that's it's not every, every day. But you refuse to give up on that one. I didn't. No, I just I, you I latched agree. onto that one Five thing, and you're just like, days. no, it's yeah. not every day. Yeah. But you said this could be your life. It could be. Mm-hmm. That would be terrible. Right. That would be the world's worst yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. So boring and sad. It could be. But I mean, how boring and sad is most people's <laughs> but if like you say work this day could be your life? life? You are implying mm-hmm. it's every day, and now you're saying, but not every day. <laughs> but if it was your life, it would be every day. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. Doesn't mean it would be. Could be. If you wanted it to be, you we, could get you can get as much which sleep we as we don't. I'm saying which you can get as much sleep as you wanted every day if you wanted to. If you decided not to, yeah, you wouldn't have. If to. I was Michael Jackson and I had propofol by yeah. my bedside right. <laughs> every day. Yeah. Just change your biology, your basic biology. It right. teaches you when to go to bed and, and wake up. Yeah. Just do that. Yeah, because I feel great. You guys are missing out. <laughs> Well, look, get divorced, drop the kids off at a firehouse. Yes. Is it too late? <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. Is there like some life, kind of right? limit? Yeah. Like, <laughs> your life. I know. That could be uh-huh. your every day. Dude. Like my son's pretty tall now. He's 15. I don't think he'd fit in the baby drop box. <laughs> but like, can just I just like just ring the bell right and outside of it? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Can I put like a note in the box that says, yeah. hey, look outside on the side of the building. Be like, yeah, he even has a job. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, exactly. 877-44 Woody. Hit us up with a text over to 22987. Uh, Morgan, in our latest meeting, somebody said that they have a, is it you? That you know the, the, the tattoo artist? I know mm. some tattoo artists, but no. Who's I was the person that has it? Oh, Menace. Menace. Okay. Yes. I know somebody knew this tattoo yeah. artist. 
somebody uh, in the building is asking like, oh, do you guys want access to a tattoo artist or maybe you want to do something on the air? Oh, okay. That's and what so was, that's yeah. what I said in the meeting. And then we came up with this idea. Okay. So uh, Menace brought that up. And out of nowhere, Morgan says, I'll get a tattoo. Yeah, I'll, do I'll it. get a tattoo <laughs> live on the radio. Now, how many tattoos do you have already? Also, not really out of nowhere because we were talking about it. So I volunteered. I have four. Four okay. little ones. They're all yeah. Very, yeah. Very, oh, very tiny. Little. Yeah, so what do you Micros. have? That's like a little smiley a face looking thing. MC smiley face on my wrist. I have 101, which is the time I was born. Uh-huh. <laughs> cool. In case nice. you forget. Yeah, cool. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's what All my right. dad said. I have Rolling Stones, uh, you know, the tongue. And then I have So It Goes on my wrist. So, so It Goes. I know nice. Steve Bass loves ribbed tattoos. Rib He's tattoos. a big fan. So it goes. Yeah, that looks cool. And it's important. It does look cool. Um, uh-huh. Is that a big, uh, powerful message in your life, So It Goes? I got it when Mac Miller died, and that was his song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So to R. me, R. Yes. I, I considered a tattoo when Mac Miller died. Me too. <laughs> How about don't do drugs that a stranger gives you? That'd be a better <laughs> lesson to learn from his or death. That. <laughs> or that. What yeah, that? Now, are you okay. a big, I, I don't think I've ever heard you mention the Rolling Stones. I don't listen to their music, no. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. But you have the right. tattoo. But the exactly. logo's cool. Yeah, that's like my niece getting Rolling Stone shirts and wearing yeah. them around. Which I'm yeah. fine with yeah. the shirt, but the, the permanent and costly yeah. tattoo. It looks but, I mean, cool. But it makes it yeah. funnier that you also don't even looks know. Cool. Oh, it's yeah. also super yeah. small. That's yeah. not costly. Well, here's the thing about I like it. me. And, thank you, Menace. Here's the thing with tattoos. <laughs> I get so in my head. They don't physically hurt my body. But I like can't look at blood or needles or anything. So yeah. like all of these tiny ones, I've like passed out. <laughs> passed out? Yeah. Really? From the Are tiny you ones? serious? Yeah. yeah. Like there's pictures of me on the floor. I have a guy that comes to my house, but like, you know, <laughs> with I, those little heating. tiny teeny Those look ones? like tattoos that people did that came to your house. <laughs> oh, thank you. They Wait, do. Or that or prison. Yeah, yeah, prison, prison. Tats? Because not, none of them are in color. No. It's just like, like a color. basic little outline. It looks like yeah. somebody did that with like a like a like a prison gun. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, like uh I mean no, <laughs> it's so like cute. Pretty sharp. They're not really they do? they're not blurry. They're not yeah, and they don't that, they definitely yeah. don't look eyes. like prison tats. They look like professional tats. Like, they're yeah. just really done. They're done by an artist. Mm. He just doesn't, yeah. you know, do that for work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's his side hustle. Uh, that would be Tattooing is his side hustle. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like Greg's right. painting, which was nice. So, yeah, exactly. As we all know, uh Morgan is always up for a dare for dollars. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um so we decided to make this one of those dare for dollars, which we haven't done for a while. Mm -hmm. And so she's going to get a tattoo. Usually we're asking for ideas of what should she do, and then we spin the wheel to find out how much it's going to be worth after she's done it. In this case, we know she's getting the tattoo. The question Mm -hmm. will be, and what you're going to have to have us uh, decide, number one, what is the tattoo going to be? And then number two, where is it going to be? The only thing you said is it has to be hidden. No, it doesn't have to be hidden. I just don't want, you know. But it can't be something But if it's like, like yeah. something yeah. really embarrassing. Like a neck yeah. tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Like, no neck, no, no face. No neck. Right. Um, okay. But I'm not. A teardrop? Yeah. yeah, but that's something you can cover up with if you're wearing long sleeves. It's something right. you have the ability to. Yeah. So no neck, no face. Right. And I would prefer something that's not, you know, huge. It's going right. to take a long time to do. Oh, I right, right, right. Die. right. Yeah, as you heard, she'll pass <laughs> What about a tramp stamp? Oh yeah, uh, oh, that really, could be, no, could be covered up. They're coming back. No, I think that's off limits as well. Is it? Oh, wow. Why can because you, you can't cover that up? Right, and like imagine you know having sexual relations. That's just so. Um, imagine you it. See it. Imagine. I know, that's all I pretty no. much do now. I imagine, just imagine it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. All those sexual yeah. relations. <laughs> that's what I'm left with these days. <laughs> I just imagine it. Yeah. So imagine that with a tramp stamp. Nah. Yeah. Oh, tramp oh, stamp dude. out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Anywhere that. else, I'm okay disappointed. With. What, uh, what about rule. those stupid under the boob tattoos that are that are the new tramp stamp? By the way. The, you mean the one I have? Oh, do you have? You have an under boob? Yeah. But is it like yeah, a chandelier on your ribs? No, no that's the one that the says Mac Miller the Mac Miller. Oh, yeah. that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the p- the pieces that girls have. I think Rihanna might have one where it's all under their ribs, oh. under their oh, yeah, boobs, yeah. and it's like a chandelier. Oh, too, uh-huh. big. Too, too big. big. Oh, too yeah. big. Yeah. Yeah, and good. by the way, those look so stupid. They do. I've yeah. seen those a couple times. Uh, one in person and one on, on, and I didn't know quite what it was. I'm like, what? Is that like a... Right. Like a henna thing? They do that temporarily just for the outfit? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. That was like a legit... Yeah. A permanent tattoo. It, it is yeah. taking over mm-hmm. what tramp stamps were in the nineties. Yeah, any tattoo that's like uh, in your cleavage. Yes. <laughs> looks R word. Well, see, Bass. Well, let's say you had to be. Let's say you had to marry somebody that either had that tattoo or a big ass nose ring. Had uh, to. 
A big ass nose ring. I'm talking big. I would go septum piercing. Greg, I would go with the ring because that's removable. Right, but let's but they're never removing. Never takes it out. Stop, won't stop. They're both permanent. Exactly. For the sake of argument, they're both permanent. Glued in. (laughs) (laughs) Fused shut. Never go. She loves it so much. Right. Oh, if I had to, yeah. I would then go for the tattoo because that is coverable. Ah, Even, if both huge mistakes, both trendy and stupid. Right. But you don't have to look at that the whole every day, all day, right in the face. Yep. Mm. Agreed. Makes sense. Yeah, but what about when you're imagining sexual relations? Uh, yeah. What about yeah. That? yeah. Think about sexual <laughs> relations. Yeah. Think about Imagine that. that. <laughs> <laughs> right. And there it is in your imagination. No tramp that. stamp because <laughs> sexual relations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know a girl that just got a tiger on her chest though. Looks so bad. Nice. Oh, like no. it's well done tattoo. Not bad, good. Oh, badass. Bad yeah, bad, bad. Oh, oh. Bad. like white trash. Yeah. yeah. As oh, loca- of course. Yeah, what about boobs? But that's off the bed, off the uh, table. Like where? On like, like on actual the on a boob. Yeah, yeah. Act on the boob. Yeah. It's not a. No. But think about sexual relations. That. Yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah, that better than a tramp it. stamp. That's a little more classy on your what? boob. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why nah. I feel that way, but I do. Okay. Like tiger wow. Weird. <laughs> so here's. <laughs> <laughs> Everything what? like from a trailer park movie you would see, it would be on the boob. So really? here's what we yeah. need, Woody Show community. <laughs> yes. With, within these or parameters. Say, I'm sorry, Woody Show fam. How about that, Seabass? Gang, gang. Yeah, mm-hmm. gang, gang. Um, how about this? Uh, just a suggestion for the tattoo. Let's stick with the tattoo. We'll figure out the placement and everything else. Okay. Let's because I think we're gonna make it too complicated. Uh, let's go with um, just what should she have tatted? Yeah, yeah. And then what we can do once we figure out what because that's gonna be through a vote. Mm-hmm. All right. And you do get the v- uh, veto one out of okay. the, the three suggestions that we'll narrow it down to based on the suggestions that we get from the listeners. We'll narrow it down to three. You get to veto one of them. And then maybe what we do is we come up with some acceptable placement options, and we put mm. that on the wheel, too. Okay. Mm. So we know what the tattoo is going to be. Okay. The wheel can decide where it's going to go. And then once she goes through with the tattoo. And passes out. Yeah. And passes right. out. Right. 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 Then you spin the wheel again to find out how much she gets for it. Okay. It's uh, Morgan's Dare for Dollars. Wow. Tattoo okay. edition. I have a great idea for a tattoo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know how the old-timey, like, sailors and whatnot would get a heart, and inside it would say, Mom? Uh-huh. Yours says, Ugly mom. <gasps> oh, oh or pain mom. Uh, Damn. Did your mom ever find out about that? Yeah, I told her. I went home and I told her because you guys made me feel bad. Mom, I called you yeah. ugly you called on the radio. Ugly. She listened to the segment <laughs> and she's she just laughed because me until and her, she got home and then she cried. Well, yeah. yeah, we're very much alike, and she knows that I think she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. until you get on the sure radio and does. you tell but tens of thousands of people exactly. mm-hmm. but she's not ugly offended she is. whatsoever, and she thought it's funny that all these people are offended for her. Yeah, she's not offended. Hmm. That's usually the way it goes. It's other people who are offended for you. Right. It was just a shocking thing mm-hmm. to hear. Is all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she made me this way. So. <laughs> yeah. Big mouth. It's her fault. Do you look more like your mom or more like your dad? I think my mom. She was in town and a lot of people were saying like, oh, you guys look just alike. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I know what I want to bring up. OK, this is a good uh, this is a good segue here. You look like your sister. Was that your sister? Okay. In that one of was those my videos? sister. Yeah. yeah. Dude, these girls all look like their dad. The good news is the uh, mom and dad don't have to worry about boys. couple in Florida, Tracy and Mike Radina. Proud parents. All four of their daughters graduated valedictorian of their class. Wow. Sweet. They range in age from 18 to 24. The youngest uh, daughter, Riley, graduated high school last month. And it's clear, looking at the picture of them, this last graduation, this dad, he won the lottery, man. Four smart daughters never having to worry about boys. (laughs) Because, uh... They're valedictorians. They spend all their time uh, studying, studying, not going care. out on dates. They don't care about Wiener. Yeah, they had nothing to do but study. Dude, look at, I mean, they all have his nose, which is like, the, he looks like he got oh, like a they boxer's look just nose. just like him. Yeah. Those are four Alexa Joels. <laughs> <laughs> That's Billy Joel's daughter. Billy Joel's daughter. I mean. If, does not look like Christy oh, Brinkley. Yeah. I haven't tried that. There's usually. Do any favors of the forehead either. They're manly looking. Yeah. Sure. Oh, they That's all have like. Saying. They all have like. I mean, look Look at this one. Wow. Morning of the like seven I mean, head. They look like their father, a man. Yeah. I mean. Oh, yeah. Have Christy. you seen Alexa Joel? Uh, no. Yeah. Dude, your mom is Ooh. Christy Brinkley and you look like Billy Joel. And all that your sisters sucks. look like Christy Brinkley. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Yeah, but hey, they're smart. And you hey. know he's bummed he didn't get one boy at least. Right, not just well, one. Well, like I know a guy with four daughters, and this I one of the end kind of looks like a boy. He's like, mm. damn it. My dad's like mad. I, he has two girls. So take, take here, Greg. Take away, take away the long hair. That is a boy. Look at that. Yeah, would you bang it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? 
What do you think, uh, Greg? Hot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take the dress off, cut the hair. Yeah, all yeah. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> draw a mustache on it. Totally. You might even not have to draw the yeah. mustache on there. That's well, like, all I need. Oh, they could pull a yeah. Chloe Kardashian, right, Menace? You get yeah. a couple nose jobs. That's right. Yeah, yeah Chloe's glow up. She surgeried her because way into looking great. You, <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you talk about uh, Billy Joel's daughter. I mean, have you seen her recently? She looks totally different. Oh, she glow she's, she's yeah. gotten a lot of surgeries? That's because there's looks, no ugly people, just poor people. Alexa yeah. Joel. <laughs> True. Yeah, she looks way different than when she did as a no, kid. No, it brought up. It says, "You want to text Joel McHale?" No, uh, I don't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Alexa either. Joel <laughs> or Joel McHale again. God damn it! I'll, I'll do it during the break. Yeah, we need tattoo ideas. The, yeah, Let's tattoo back ideas. To that. Yeah, make them funny, please, people. Yeah, like ugly mom. If you've got yeah, a, uh, <laughs> if you've got a good tattoo idea for the tattoo that uh, Morgan should get here in the dare for dollars, send it on over on the text two two nine eight seven. You can send us an email, email at thewoodyshow.com. Make the suggestion through social media. You can find us there at The Woody Show. Uh, and then we're going to take a quick break. And I got some other tattoo stats for you. And just because it's, you know, somewhere in the wheelhouse of the topic, uh, regrets. <laughs> Suggestions rolling in already. Very, uh, a ton. Very well done, everybody. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'll go through some of the suggestions that we have so far. Uh, are you going to keep track of these? Yes. Okay. Let me get the... I have mine locked in. All right, Morgan, you ready to hear some of these? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with this email that we got from uh, Beth, Beth L. It says, my son got this as a tramp stamp tattoo on his 18th birthday. Oh, sweet. Oh, he God. didn't leave the words off, but it was a dare. I didn't think he'd go through with it. But it's a uh, it's a panda riding a unicorn with his middle finger up, and it says "slay all day." Nice. Oh, and her son, God. her oh. son has this. <laughs> that's a trip stamp. Wow. It's kind of like Seabass's uh, wizard tattoo yeah. that he's got on his ass. Right. I like it. Yeah. All right. So that's one idea. I thought this one was funny. Get Jeffrey Dahmer's name on, oh, on oh, somewhere, wow. nice. or like somebody, or somebody else that everybody hates, like OJ, somebody yeah. Ooh, infamous, like an I, OJ, yeah. or, OJ or or, yeah. or a Dahmer. The juice is loose. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would get a. I'm a late OJ fan, actually. <laughs> an right. OJ fan. Yeah. Well, I've been watching documentaries mm. since he died, and he. Mm. So you, you just found have, out yeah. how much he ruled, huh? Yeah. Before, yes. No, so you yeah. just have interest in him. You're not like a. Fan. No, she's yeah. Loves fan. Him. Fan's probably the wrong word. But, yeah, wrong word. But I would get an OJ tattoo for sure. All right, so that's off the list. Oh, yep. it's got to be Dahmer. Oh, wow. All right, I need it's gotta to shut be my mouth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, somebody said like, how about just like a slogan from someone like BK? Have it your way, because that could be funny. <laughs> oh, no. okay. true. Or like I'm that. loving it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nice. Something like that. Uh, of course, you get people with the Woody Show logo on there. Mm-hmm. Here's one. Uh, it would say, "Make me morgasm." Mm, okay. Kind of funny, All and then right. of course you get like some typical ones, like a penis tattoo right. or a sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Yeah, that, that could be, be good. A lot. Yeah. I, 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 we've mm. seen that come over a bunch. I, I like yeah. that yeah. a lot. The sixty-nine. A sixty. Mm. Are we going yeah. too fast for you, Sammy? Sorry. I'm I'm catching them. Yeah. I got, where where uh, where'd you leave off? I got the penis tattoo. Sixty-nine. Make me <laughs> orgasm. Slogan. BK. Have it your way. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I got them. <laughs> All right. Then what about? Um, oh, this is kind of funny. I, I've seen this before. <laughs> this very classy tattoo, mm. and it was a woman that had the tattoo. It was on her stomach. And it was of a naked woman. She's kind of leaning back like in a crab position, like a crab soccer position. Right. Mm-hmm. And her legs are spread, but her belly button's her vagina. What? Yeah, there's a yeah, lot so, of things wait. coming yeah. over to use oh, the belly button. So, so, uh, okay. so the belly button. Yeah. Oh, my belly button would is be the, the, is the vagina okay. of the tattoo lady. Yeah. Somebody sent over a suggestion like that, but said yeah. a cat anus. Oh, oh, yeah. So like, like you an put animal on the bundle, back yeah. of uh-huh. <laughs> That's That's a classic. Animal butthole. Yeah, that's got to be. I have a belly button piercing, so that's going to be out. Why? Oh yeah. Ow. Because well, I think that falls under the category of like, uh, I mean, you flare. could you could cover yeah. it up, but I think women, uh, especially younger women like Morgan, you know, more the midriff stuff, mm-hmm. like that's you know. So yeah. the cat anus would just be. I mean, pierced. it could be somewhere yeah. else on my body. I don't yeah. want a cat anus on my belly button. Though. Or oh, like, yeah, what if it was just a tattoo of a butthole? Yeah, yeah. Just that's so just like a, like that little bark and starfish, uh-huh. that little just crumbled a, piece of skin. Just an anus. Yeah, like a butthole on her <laughs> ribs or something. What do you think about that? That's all right. We'll change. I yeah. change that one to butthole. I got, I got straight a butthole. up butthole. Yeah, straight up butthole. 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 Straight up. Yeah. Okay. Or how about in words, That's, butthole? No, yeah. it's got to like I think it'd be kind of funny because I did see one time somebody, <laughs> um, uh, who was oh, it was a friend of mine, a guy and I we used to do a, a morning show together, Rizzuto, mm-hmm. and they did something on their show, and somebody lost a bet, and what they had to do was they had to get an extra nipple tattooed. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. next to their other nipple, so you know, right in the middle. 
And dude, this thing looked so real. Just on a picture, That's it weird, was one of those huh? tattoos that looks like a photo. Yeah. Okay. It was done really well. That's nice. But I mean, oh it God, looked like nice. an actual nipple. I kind of yeah. like Morgan's idea. Extra of, nipple. Like the word butthole. That'd be funny. Yeah. Just the word like, butthole? Yeah, like uh -huh. written in Yeah, but if you see something. it, it's even funnier. Because yeah. you're like, wait, what is that? And you go, oh. Because oh. oh. then <laughs> that's a conversation starter. Right. You know? yeah. like, right. It's on the list. It's on, there's no bad idea. We're just okay. brainstorming. Are you, are you yeah. willing to put that in trans stamp form? She said a no to a trans stamp. No. Yeah. With an arrow? Butthole and arrow. Come on! Oh, oh, like giving directions? Yes. Yeah, or no, one just says good. enjoy, like a, like right. a, like a neon uh, sign looking <laughs> font. Yeah, but what if I'm having sexual relations with a blind man? Yeah, he's what, not if? Be able to read what if? It. Oh, what wow. if? Yeah, then he won't have any of the fun. Um, and then the, uh, this is Explain another good it. idea: get a get a tattoo of a camel on your big toe. Yes, I had a friend mm. do this. Yeah. Oh, you did? We, yeah, that seems to be kind of a popular one. Yeah, we That's looked cool. that up in a meeting. So many people have that already. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that idea because it would be on the bottom of my toe maybe so I could hide it. The but bottom of your toe? My friend got so it. So it would wear the... off. Yeah. Exactly, great. Oh, uh, yeah. Do the same thing they did in the movie We Are the Millers. This is from the uh, 317 oh, yeah. where her belly, just below her belly button, it says Boner Garage, Boner garage. Oh, nice. with an arrow <laughs> pointing down. <laughs> Classy. Yeah. Wasn't there another tattoo in that movie that was like no regrets? Yeah, no and regrets. And it was spelled wrong. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that <laughs> scene of that's funny. That's a funny. misspelled M tattoo. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I have another idea. Like butthole, but misspelled. B U T. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> H O L E. I have an idea of because Morgan was married for like a month. Yeah. And she got uh, the tattoo of the guy. Oh, really? Two yeah. years. Of yes. the guy that she was married to. So then forever, yep. it's like, oh, who's With the heart. who's Ryan? Yeah. Oh, that's my ex-husband. It's, it, it's <laughs> a property see, of Ryan. Here's yeah. the thing about that. And I, I'm fine. It's, it's an idea. It's on the list. But that's so easily explainable. If you yeah. have the butthole on you. And it's misspelled. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, like, a misspelled. double way, like, a butthole oh, misspelling. Yeah. That's my ex-husband. And you go, oh, okay. Uh, okay but you don't whatever. think that's embarrassing to of still course. have mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, it is for sure. the name yeah. on you but and it's ha more then have to tell people. It's more common. It's more normal. Yeah. yeah, I guess I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. I was going to suggest Hen uh, Henry Winkler because she didn't even know <laughs> the who that was. <laughs> The yeah, Fonz. Yeah, she had no idea who that guy was. <laughs> I mean, it just that's a funny idea. Just the name of anyone, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer, mm -hmm. any person that I, I necessarily do like don't Dahmer, like. though. And right, OJ. So keep your, keep I mean, your uh, suggestions coming in on the text. R.I.P. OJ. Over to 22987. 32% of people say they've gotten a tattoo to improve their personal appearance. How does, how does it improve your appearance? It can. Uh, you look yes. cooler. You think? Yeah. Oh, I think for sure. It, yeah. And people who have scars and stuff can use it to cover them up, I guess. Mm, uh, researchers looked at 12,000 patients and found that people with tattoos had a 21% higher risk for lymphoma, uh. which is a type of blood cancer, because the ink triggers an immune response and some of it gets deposited into your lymph nodes and the low-grade inflammation from it just not good. So they found that the size of the tattoo might not even matter. People with small ones, <gasps> Morgan... Oh, no. Had the same increased risk as people with the larger tattoos, but of course they don't expect people to stop getting tattoos. But they, you know, it. they just want to figure out how to make the ink safer, is mm. what the whole point of this is. Make so they're organic. So they're planning on uh, more <laughs> studies to see if it's uh, linked to other types of cancer as well. But the good news, you know, lymphoma is usually very treatable if you catch it early. There's two different kinds. There's Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. uh, the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, there still is quote no cure for. Treatable, very treatable. That's what my mom right. you know, got diagnosed with 24 years ago. Um, but the Hodgkin's lymphoma, there's so much they can do for that. Especially, again, any of these cancers, a lot of them, mm -hmm. like you catch them early, right. you're in much better uh, shape. The more tattoos or piercing a person has, the more they engage in whorish behavior, drug use, binge drinking, illegal behavior, and cheating, according to science. Okay. According to uh, According, according, to, according science. to science. What you, it's what have science, been don't question it. Tattoo, what I've been saying for two decades to you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> chicks who drink, smoke, what's the other one? Or have tattoos. Or have tattoos, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, uh, you're, you're hooking guaranteed. up that night. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are hooking up on the first those date are, chicks. Yeah. Sluts. Yeah, that's what Menace been saying. He's been, been saying, saying that for, for decades. For two decades now. I don't need to do a, a study. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just based on personal experience. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. 877-44-WOODY. Hit us with a text. Your suggestion. What should the tattoo Morgan gets? Her dare for dollars. And then you guys will end up deciding. Well, we'll narrow it down. 
but then you guys with a vote will end up deciding, then we'll spin the wheel to find out exactly where it's going to go. Unless it's the uh, like the camel on the big toe thing. I think that one's obviously... Yeah. Duh. That one's already pre-decided. I'm not on board with that. Yeah. You don't like it? It's been done too many times. Yeah, we'll yeah. I'm not for it because feet. Oh. <laughs> this is The Woody Show. Uh, well, uh, Morgan end up regretting this. Something about her personality tells me no. Yeah. She'll I mean, be fine. Although she is a very sensitive feeling person. You wouldn't, you know, like uh, just in a regular conversation or the way you hear her on the air, but in conversations off the air, wouldn't you guys agree? Like, yeah, yeah. I would agree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm emotional. You are. <laughs> yep. You are. And you're also more concerned with other people than I would think. Like, in other words, like you're worried about what other people think or feel or. Yeah. It, more so than I would, you know, based on your. I have a tough exterior. Yeah. But yeah. But a soft, I'm, I'm a melty softie. center. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah. no regrets, though. You're like so. a creme brulee. No regrets. <laughs> no no um. regrets. Yeah, like, what does it say? Let's see. On her. Uh, let's see. Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, on her profile on social media. Professional ish talker. Mm. Well, oh, what it says mm. on there. Oh, burn. But then she'll, you know. <laughs> Should I have said that? There's then always... it has the soft, <laughs> melty side. Right, right. There's always tends to be a lady like that in the group, mm-hmm. the loudest. Well, get no. your uh, get your suggestions on over for what tattoo she should get. Over to 22987. Email us, email at thewoodyshow.com. And then on Friday, we'll narrow it down, have you guys vote. When it comes to regrets, what are the top regrets that people have in life? The most common answers, working too hard at the expense of family and friends. After that, it's not standing up to bullies in grade school. <laughs> grade school? Wow. Mm-hmm. Holding on to that one. Yeah. yeah. A lot Dang. of people do. I mean, they That's think true. about you know, how it's affected them into their adult mm-hmm. life. It's their trauma. So they wish they would have like, you know, disrupted the space-time continuum when they had the chance. <laughs> yeah. Billy Madison. Uh, losing was- touch with childhood friends. Oh, babe. Spending too much time on the phone and then breaking up with or being dumped by the love of their life. Mm. Top regrets. regrets. Most common what regrets. Did, what could have you done about that? I regret being dumped. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. If I could change one thing, yeah. I would make them not dump me. <laughs> well, if you were in love with that person, you probably you know regret that I, it didn't work out. I, 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 For sure. Yeah, I, it would suck. Yeah. I agree. You really love that person. Yeah, but and like, then they dump regret you. regret it. I right. guess if you did something to cause it that you know was you, you would yeah, regret what you did. A better yeah. explanation. Like, hey, for a while, that uh, that one girlfriend of mine, man, my uh, my so-called kryptonite from back in that time, mm-hmm. like, it, not a regret, but it was definitely one of those things like, man, can't believe, like, that would have been great if it worked out, you know, like, because it was such a, such a thing. Right. Not a regret. You're right. It's not a regret. Yeah, I, I wouldn't file right. that under mm-hmm. regret. Yeah. Like a heartbreak? Sure. It's not really a regret. You just regret that it didn't work out. Or like maybe you regret breaking up with somebody because it turns out they were actually pretty great. (laughs) Like you didn't realize that until later. Like Like, I get it on that side. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You You being the dumper. Yeah. Were you, were you going to ask Seabass if he had yeah. any regrets? No, no. I was just probably saying, not. like. Not that, none, that, none that he would admit to. No, no. (laughs) You do? Like what? I mean. Uh, Seriously, not no, like no, 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 no. It's okay. not like I turned down my fifth threesome or anything. Like that. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, Which is an actual regret of Woody's. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. Not my fifth, but it's, it's on one and only chance so far. Right. Uh, I would say you always hear about it from people like, oh, I should have quit the, that job earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, it was easy. Eh? I was in a routine. Definitely that one. Like mm-hmm. I could be. Above and beyond where I am now, easily, if I'd done that earlier, so just like, well, you know, I'm here and it's fine, that sort of thing. Yeah, or, and that might be her happening right now as well. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> so it can happen multiple times yeah. in your life. Yeah. Sure, sure. Right? Yeah. And you, you should learn from the first mistake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, people get really comfortable, and right? Re- exactly. And that, that goes a for, decade later, they regret it. Right. That goes for jobs, relations, like all, all kinds uh, of stuff. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, it's very easy to get uh, complacent, duped. Also, by the grass is always greener thinking, uh, because then you get there and you're like, oh, right, yeah, <laughs> like, this is what I wanted, yeah, because people romanticize. Uh, but I think that's that happens way less because you can always go back to something yeah. that you, that you came from. Uh, yeah, and then also it's just like I don't know, you you go back to, am I going to be okay? What's the worst case scenario? Yes. Right. Yeah, right, right, like, yeah. mm-hmm. and Whatever. when you figure out, you'll be all right. Yeah, right, you'll be fine. 
Exactly. So there's one. It's great. So there's one. That feeling. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. yeah. And we'll see how uh, how everything turns out with uh, with Morgan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this all, I'll do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Man. That's true. Right. I'm all about life experiences. Yeah. yeah. Who Regrets isn't? sometimes start with watch this. Check it out. Look <laughs> <laughs> what I can do. Sit tight. More next. The Woody Show.